Hello, this is Alex Eames from raspi.tv. So today we're doing some power measurements. I've got a thread over in the Raspberry Pi forums where I like to measure the power of each new release and see what differences there are between the releases. So with the new B+, I figured it's got a new power circuit which is meant to be much more efficient. Let's measure it and see just how much more efficient it is. So first I'll have a quick run through of the equipment I'm using. You see in the middle of the screen there you've got this blue device here. This is an e-meter which I have from my aero modeling hobby. It basically enables you to measure the voltage, the amps and also the RPM of a propeller but that won't be much use today. That's connected to this blue thing with red connectors on the end. Uh, that is a shunt. That's a 20 amp shunt which gives you a fairly accurate idea of the measurements without actually interfering with the circuit at all. So if you look here you'll see this is connected to the Pi Hub which is powering the Pi and the screen via USB connectors. So the other end of the shunt is basically connected to a USB lead which connects straight into the Pi's power port. So the current readings are, that's before we actually log in or do anything, it's powered up. Let's zoom in so you can have a good look at that. 5.03 volts and 0.24 amps. That's at idle. Let's see if that changes when we actually log in. I don't think it will. So all we've got plugged in here is literally a wireless keyboard dongle and nothing else. Okay, so now we've logged in. It's 5.03 and 0.23 to 0.24. It's sort of fluctuating a bit, which is quite normal. So that's just to show you what I've got plugged in is just a keyboard dongle for this wireless keyboard. Let's fire up LXDE and see if it makes any difference. I doubt if it will. Mm, you can see it's thinking a bit, using a bit more juice. But once it's done the actual work, you see, it settles back down to roughly what it was before. Okay, now let's try something we couldn't do with the previous model. Let's stick a Wi-Fi dongle in without switching it off first. You're going to love this. I'm going to zoom out to show you this because it'd be interesting to see what happens. Okay, here we go. I'm going to plug it into the top right port. And with the previous Model B, that would have rebooted. But look, it's flashing. It's flashing. The Pi stayed up and running. It's flashing. It's logging in. Shaking hands with the Wi-Fi router. Let's have a look at the power readings. So 5.02 volts and 0.28 amps. So it's about 0.04 amps higher, which is about normal for the Eddie Max 40 milliamps. So no self-respecting scientist would ever just do one set of results. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another set with the Model B and you'll be able to see how much of a difference there is between the two. So now I've got a Model B connected to the meter and it's reading 498 volts and 0.38 amps. This is just with an ordinary keyboard dongle attached and no dongles or any other devices attached to the USBs. I'm just logging in now and We'll monitor what happens again when we fire up the GUI. As you can see, it's 
thinking. And it's pretty much stabilized to what it was at before. So now I'm going to have to shut it down in order to put the Wi-Fi dongle in because it will reboot anyway. So now I'm measuring voltage and current with a Model B and a keyboard dongle and an Edimax Wi-Fi dongle that's switched on and connected to the Wi-Fi router. As you can see, it's 4.98 volts and 0.43 amps, but it fluctuates up and down according to the activity of the Wi-Fi dongle. So it's pretty clear to see that the Model B Plus uses a little bit over half the power of the Model B, which is really a very big improvement. Congratulations to the Foundation for having made it so much better. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.